Just for my baby, 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 baby. Oh, Golden child, Golden child. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your girl the Golden Child and we're back with another video. I've been gone for a while, I know, but um, a lot of stuff was happening. It was my birthday, I'm 19 now, and um, yeah, I just had a really busy week that week, as well as just the semester is about to end and, you know, finals, all that great stuff. But um, I'm back and I'm going to answer this Q&A for you guys. I got some interesting questions and we're just going to get right into it. So, the first question I got was, describe the time you lost your virginity. Y'all really waste no time. Y'all went right into it with the personal, personal questions. But I'm going to use a loophole in this question. It said, describe the time I lost my virginity. Not tell y'all, like, exactly what happened and all that. That could be a separate story time one day if I get the balls. But describe the time I lost my virginity. Um... Who's to say I'm not a virgin? Y'all y'all don't know I'm a virgin. Nah, but um, I'll give you guys some adjectives. It was unexpected. I did not think it was going to happen that day or any day soon near that day. It was just spontaneous. It was really good, I mean. <laughs> but um, another adjective relieving i say relieving because there is a lot of pr i'm sorry guys my wig is a she there is a lot of pressure for girls and guys alike to have like a really good first time with someone who you love with the right person this and that once it was over with i was so relieved because i felt so much better all the pressure was gone and i was really happy that i didn't have that like hanging over my head anymore it was done and it wasn't terrible so i was happy the next question i got is do you live with your parents i do live with my parents i am currently dorming right now i'm in school so yeah i technically live with my parents but i'm barely there because i'm dorming and yeah school is in session so yeah i don't go home that much either but yes i do indeed live with my parents next question do i like bridgewater state yes i do this was not my first choice to go here. That's another story time. I ended up switching schools the week before school started, but this is not a bad school. And once coming to the school, I realized that it should have been my first choice because it's a really inexpensive school. It's a really good school. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. There are so many opportunities here. And again, I'm just gonna say it's not that expensive. And um, yeah, y'all don't wanna be drowning in student loans till you're like 40. So, I'm not trying to, like, advertise my school or anything for those of you who live in Massachusetts, but it's a good school. Next question. This isn't really a question, but this person said, do more of what makes you awesome. Thank you for saying that I'm awesome. I appreciate it. Um, I suppose one thing that, I guess, makes me awesome is maybe, like, doing, doing this YouTube stuff. But this is a lot of work, lots of editing and such. Maybe another thing people think makes me awesome is doing modeling but it's hard out here for an up-and-coming model you know i ain't no tyra banks naomi campbell anything like that but i'm gonna get there next question is how are you so confident and what are some tips you would suggest to others who are insecure building their confidence i'm a very confident person because i just don't let people tell me about who i am no one knows you better than yourself and people are gonna talk whether they're doing bad or good just like rihanna said cheers to the freaking weekend i drink to that yeah. okay anyways um but yeah people are gonna talk about you no matter what so you have to know yourself and you also have to learn how to take constructive criticism like people aren't always telling you things trying to tear you down sometimes people do want the best for you i could make a separate video about confidence and like talking to you guys more as a motivational speaker but yeah i'm just confident because i know what i'm capable of and i know that i am great like we all have our negative qualities or things about ourselves that we don't like and it's not to say you have to forget those but put those on your like mind list of self-improvements and take everything that you like about yourself everything that's good and put that at the forefront of your mind and let that drive you let that like continue to remind you that you are a great and amazing person because you have all these great qualities 
So um, I guess that counts as a tip of you boosting your confidence. But um, another tip, like, of course, it's not all about looks, but like something that goes a long way is just looking good. Because if you look good, you feel good. It's not to say you have to put on a whole bunch of makeup. I don't always put on makeup for y'all. It's just whenever I feel like it, I beat my face a little bit so I could look a little a little extra for y'all but um just looking good is putting on a nice outfit that you like something that you feel good in something that you feel comfortable in because like when you when you look good you feel good comfort shows like when you're comfortable with yourself and how you look it shows way more than you being insecure body language is is really everything you can read people through their body language for example something just as simple as that Another like simple thing to help you build your confidence is listening to like good music. Like when when you're feeling down about yourself, listening to some uplifting music for me, some uplifting stuff for me. I like I like Sierra, Beyonce, Rihanna, like any type of like uplifting songs that like make you feel good. Just hearing like goodness and positivity and looking good. And working on your mindset like i had said i think you'll be more confident but there's there's a lot more tips i could get into more i'll make a separate video maybe if you want me to make a separate video comment but yeah next question is tips on interracial dating my black family is racist someone else also asked me about tips on interracial dating i don't know if it was the same person but um to match those two together um if only gavin was here for this but for interracial dating if you have a black family who is racist something that i feel is important for you to do is make sure your family knows that your partner is making an effort to learn about your culture and like bridge bridge that gap between you being black and him being white or maybe he's not white anything else that he is i just i'm just assuming that he's white but um anything else that he is bridging that gap because like i know i know how it is how it was like my my family meeting gavin once they see that like he's making an effort like stuff just as simple as him wanting to like try the food or like and maybe trying to like learn some of your language to like talk to your family it really goes a long way because this is like maybe kind of deeper than what you wanted to know but like growing up in america being like a first generation um child in your family it's like your family really doesn't want you to lose your culture and of course they'll more feel like you're losing your culture dating someone outside of your culture and they'll feel as if you're becoming more diluted you already are being an american child so um yeah just making sure that like they see the effort that your partner is making but to a certain extent like if your family is really that racist and there's nothing you can do about it they might not like you being with that person but it's like you're with who you're with and um yeah you have to worry about your own happiness and if they don't like your partner simply for the fact that he doesn't have the same skin color as you then that's not your problem but yeah i feel as though gavin and i could make a separate video like more tips about interracial dating but yeah that's what i got for you right now next question how do you deal with being cheated on oof i've never been cheated on personally because gavin is my first boyfriend but um i've i've dealt with guys before i know a similar feeling to being cheated on but in regards to that i would say the first step is you really have to get rid of that person. There's no no second chance, no if ands or buts about it. Because if there was if they had like a problem with you, there are so many other ways of dealing with problems besides cheating. Cheating is like once you do it, that person should be out. I don't know what's going on with this generation that like once someone cheats, y'all kinda do this like back and forth as in da da da. But part of the ups and downs of a relationship do not involve cheating at all cheating is like the end of a relationship but anywho tips on like going from that point of course you guys are gonna break up but um moreover like with you guys breaking up don't try to like be their friend at all you have to like totally get rid of them how i feel of course there are like special cases but that's the ultimate disrespect they totally have to go and 
like I know sometimes it's like really deep like for example if you're married to someone I I know you're, you're probably not married but um for example I think being married is different because you've already committed to someone and made vows but it's like if they're already breaking the rules and y'all aren't even married like why why even keep going like this person probably isn't worth marrying y'all y'all ain't even like crossed that that threshold yet and they already acting up so just let them go but i feel as though like this goes back to the whole confidence thing because i know being cheated on can put like a big dent in your self-confidence because you just start thinking oh was i not good enough this or that but um yeah i feel as though some tips after being cheated on is like confidence building and just like remembering where you were at before you started like dating this person because i know me dating gavin like i'm with him all the time i talk to him like 24 7 and everything just like occupy yourself too like all that time you spent with that person occupy your time in, in other ways like get a hobby make a youtube channel if you if you want to do that like start drawing start doing something because with you having all that free time now not being with that person of course you're gonna start thinking about that person because you'd be talking to them 24 7 and now you're not talking to them now your mind is wandering and you kind of want them back but that's not the way to go don't do that i feel as though i could elaborate a lot more on all these questions but i don't want this video to be like an hour long so we're gonna keep moving I like this boy and he likes me and we're trying to work on a relationship but he dated my close friend first of all how come y'all always have to date somebody that your close friend dated like i'm not i'm not trying to come for you personally i don't even know who you are i'm not trying to come for anybody but it's like there are so many fish in the sea and i see all too often girls going after guys that their friends dated of course it's different if they like talk for like two weeks and they just realize they don't have much in common but like if they dated i i assume like if they actually dated it was like for a considerable amount of time and um yeah it just kind of looks bad you don't need me to tell you it looks bad i was just saying but um yeah anyways in regards to the advice part hopefully you've already like talked to your friend and like told her what was about to go down so she doesn't have to find out from someone else because that'd be like the worst thing if that's your actual friend you don't want her you don't want her to find out from somebody else but in regards to your actual relationship um if y'all really like each other then um it shouldn't be that awkward or anything of course your close friend is an obstacle but i'm someone who's very much for seeking out your own happiness like it really depends it's very circumstantial but depending on like how your friend is with everything how it is with some people is you might have to choose between your friendship and being with that guy and maybe you really like this guy maybe you're a close friend and you have been drifting off and you would kind of want to choose the guy i don't know what the situation is but sometimes there is an ultimatum that is given to you in these types of situations but um yeah there's also you you probably feel feel guilt um about liking and wanting to be with this guy that your friend was with but of course you can't get rid of your feelings but i feel as though you're really stuck between a rock and a hard place if this is who you really want to be with and you like this guy and your friend ends up not being okay with it you like who you like and you might end up putting your friendship on the back burner i'm not saying that's the right thing to do but i know how it is when you like really like someone and yeah you say he really likes you too so do you sis i feel like because if you and your friend were that close and you didn't even want to date him you wouldn't ask this question so you already know what you want to do just be smart about it Next question asked me about the top three best Boston colleges. Now, there are two ways to answer this question. Like, technically, the best top colleges in Massachusetts would probably be the most expensive, like those really high-end schools that, like, barely anybody can get into. Those schools include MIT, which, when I looked it up, was number one, Harvard, and then Tufts University. Those are the top three best ones, but those have like 
I think the range is like a 10 to 15 percent acceptance rate and um yeah I'm not saying don't shoot for the stars but uh anyways for me my philosophy on college is now going to Bridgewater State because you know I'm trying to save y'all some coin um the cheapest schools um the cheapest schools are Bridgewater State my school and Salem State and Fitchburg State those are the three cheapest schools in Massachusetts so I'd say those are the best options in regards to school a lot of the things are very much the same for example it's not bad to go to the high-end schools just like I said but oftentimes you're just paying for the name of the school and my school being the cheapest one it's not that it's not a good school or anything it's just more affordable but of course it looks good that you went to Harvard like if you apply for a job they like oh you went to Harvard check he got the job so but going to a cheaper school doesn't mean necessarily that you're gonna get a lesser education so i would advocate for the cheaper schools because money doesn't grow on trees so. the next question is how is modeling going is it better or worse than you expected um modeling is going pretty good it's kind of on a standstill right now because i found that last semester there was like a lot more going on like now in the spring it seems like people have a lot going on wedding season is approaching or is already happening people in school are having finals people getting pregnant people are doing all kinds of everything in the spring so modeling kind of on a standstill because like i'm not finding as much work but y'all know i'm about to be on it when the work starts coming in y'all about to see me doing my thing but um it's going pretty good um Soon it'll be a year since I started modeling. In June, in early June, it'll be a year since I started modeling. And all in all, it's been smooth. It's been smooth. Um, once I hit a year, I might make like a little video recap for y'all about my first year being a model or whatever, but it's good. I've had interesting experiences. Maybe I'll do another video talking about my worst fashion show. Like I was about to die that day. It was, it was something. But let me know if you guys want to see that video. Okay, next question. The dumbest thing I have ever done. <sighs> I do a lot of dumb things, guys. I think the dumbest thing I have ever done. The dumbest thing I've ever done is let people disrespect me. Like, this is really general. But I'm going to just tell y'all, don't let people disrespect you like for any reason you could give people the benefit of a doubt but like y'all are smart people like y'all have common sense you know when someone meant it that way and they didn't mean it that way and don't let people get a pass because they're they're somebody like honestly i'm saying don't even let, let your parents disrespect you like being an adolescent we all kind of reached that point where we're not seeing eye to eye with our parents and everything but just remember to not let people disrespect you like you let people know how to treat you by how much you tolerate yeah i know your parents are your parents and you can't just move out and be on the street or anything like that but i'm just saying don't deal with it for longer than you have to don't be in an environment where people disrespect you blood is not always thicker than water and i don't even mean it by like just family anybody disrespecting you teachers like just because like a teacher got a degree don't mean they could disrespect you like i don't i don't care at all like you you went to college all these years and got this degree but don't talk to me like i'm stupid like i'm not an intelligent human being i've just had lots of interesting experiences and i'm a very nice person i often give people the benefit of the doubt but i would say the dumbest thing i've ever done is give people a pass and let them disrespect me because of me giving them the benefit of the doubt or them being someone of like supposed higher stature but yeah you you teach people how to treat you again so don't tolerate any less than the best so that's the dumbest thing i've done and that's some words of wisdom to y'all but those are all the questions i got if y'all want me to do another q a maybe comment some questions or um i put my social media in my bio y'all could hit me with some questions but thank you guys for watching and peace out